Okay, so I'm going to try and set them up. We come into the love and romance. And this is personal partnerships, not partnerships in business. It's specifically love related. You start off with a star card. You couldn't get anything better. It's a major arcana card saying that your hopes and dreams will be fulfilled. Um, <clears throat> it is uh, the number 17, which goes to an 8 in numerology, which is also a power number, saying that your love and romance is very... Oh, sorry. <clears throat> I'm so sorry for that, Libra. I don't I had a little bit of a frog in my throat. There we go. That's all the speaking. Um, we started off with the Love and Romance card, that, uh, the, the Hope card, the Healing card, um, Absolute Bliss and Success. And it's a major corner card. And the very next card is the Lover's card which is intimate uh, relationships. It is a blessed union. It could be somebody that is a Gemini because it's also the card of a Gemini uh, uh, for your relationships and love and um, a union that is karmic. Um, it is a six as well, which is balanced. So beautiful reading for love and romance, uh, Libra, and that is what you stand for is your spouse and personal relationships, one-on-one -on -one relationships, and these cards are reading absolutely into that. And then um, the further insight is that you will be receiving a message quite soon um, because it's swords, so it's words, it's a message. Um, but also be uh, careful about the message you get. It, it's an immature energy, it's a page. It could be a little bit of gossip or something. Not to pay too much attention to it. It is a minor arcana and because he also has a bit of a sneakiness to him as well. Um, but you definitely have a very, very uh, bright future regarding love and romance and um, an offering of a, a very comic relationship that will be intimate, intimately blessed. So we'll move on to the next one and that is work and career. And we start off with an an offer. You you have um, achieved a lot. You've got a lot, but you're bored. You, the work at Korea, you're in your board. And the sadness of this is he's getting an offer from God. It is an offer. It's a blessing. But he's so um, disillusioned by the situation that is in his, possibly his career at work, that he might miss the opportunity or the offer that is being offered to him because the offer is for a short time. So um, this is the card of boredom and disillusionment and possibly missing an offer or an opportunity that might be arising for you that will be emotionally fulfilling. But then you have the page of one which also says there is an opportunity. It's uh, The page brings you a message about work, career, um, it is a rod, it's to do with the fire side, which it relates to work and career, um, a new opportunity that's definitely coming through for work and career. So if you are unhappy and bored in your position, there is a new opportunity that's on offer for you that will be a lot more um, fiery and energetic and give you the passion. You'll find the, 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 the fulfillment in because the Ace of Wands is, again, the offer from God again at the end and um, this is a new beginning regarding finances or, or career career because it's fiery it's enthusiastic it's with passion it's bright it's starting it's explosive um, absolutely wonderful there is a new opportunity you are that is on offer for you you've been told twice you are bored where you are uh, emotionally, it's not fulfilling you. The offer is coming to you and again confirming the offer is there for you for something that will be much more fulfilling and rewarding in your work and career. And then we go to your investments and finance, whether you do have or don't have, these. this is relates to investment and finance and it says that there's a message, it's a pentacle, it's about finance, about money. Um, there's a message that's going to come through about finances that you're possibly waiting for. And it's a good message because it's a, this little page is quite a pleasant character. Um, but it, and it's stable. It's, it's stable. 
it's something you've been waiting for for a long time. Um, you can see it's a major arcana card. He's, he's hanging around. He's hanging upside down, basically, because he's thought out of the box to find solutions or answers to whatever it is that he was looking for or waiting for. This message came through. It's normally quite slow. It's something to do with your finances and investments. Um, but it does come through because the Empress is the Supreme Harvester. She's an Empress. Like we have the Emperor. They rule empires, not just kingdoms like kings and queens. They are above that. It's the top of the major arcana. She's a three. The three is very good for that manifestation, that getting ahead, the ships coming in. She's the harvester. She's uh, She harvests the natural things that we live off from day to day. She gives birth to new things. Um, you can see she has splendor around her, um, the crops, the wheat. Um, everything is in absolute harmony. Um, she is the mother figure, the, the earthy mother figure of abundance and uh, birthing of something new. So whatever the message is that you have been waiting for, it's going to definitely give you the stability and the growth that you are looking for and needing um, with regards to your finances and your investment. Okay, and then uh, just to clarify those or get us a little more insight, uh, I'm going to use the magical mermaids and dolphins cards, oracle cards, just as for the insights. Thank you, Spirit. This is for love and romance. Um, this is for work and career. And this is for gee, lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Okay. And Spirit is really speaking to you, Yalabra, with your. Uh, you had the star card, uh, the absolute karmic relationship that's on offer to you. And remember, we only manifest what we put out there. So if you're putting out negativity, you will receive negativity. If you put out positivity, that's what you will be receiving. But there is this little bit of a sneak in somewhere around there, and the universe is saying to make the decision. If you're feeling stuck or indecisive, you need to listen to your intuition and make the decision. So the Spirit is actually just telling you there, whatever this is here, yeah, and Libra, you can be indecisive there. This card could also uh, say you need to be more balanced. Um, you know, um, make the decision, be decisive. Uh, also, it's the two, be decisive, the six, it's balance again. Definitely, um, you need to make the decision here. If you're feeling stuck or indecisive about something, you need to listen to your intuition and make that decision. Um, that's with regards to your love and romance. With regards to your work and career, you have the boredom card, um, the solution, the message coming through uh, of an offer that will be a lot more um, happy for you, fulfilling for you. And then the Ace of Wands, which says it's electric, um, the offer will be really promising explosive and heartwarming for you, good, well paid. It might even be a promotion or an increase in your salary um, that you're disillusioned about or a new job that you're looking for or promotion, but you will get the message about it that is very good and it will set you on your path to much better um, financial income and a heartfelt happiness. And it says that you're being helped. Heaven is helping you. Heaven is working behind the scenes to help you, even if you don't see the results. So, beautiful cards. You can see beautiful cards. It's calm. It's relaxed. It's soothing. The, the emotions, the water, it's calm. It's clear. It's crystal. Crystal. It's coming through to you. So, um, really good for you there as well, Libra. And then we have in your finance and investments, we had the message about finance and investments coming through about your money, uh, waiting a long time to make this decision, being indecisive, looking at alternate ideas, but basically just wasting time hanging around to, to make get the decision. But the universe is saying on offer for you is the best of the best. The harvester is there. You can have it all. And it's saying that 
there's the mother card again, mother healing. It says your feelings toward your mother heal your desires. He, um, as your feelings towards your mother heal, your desires manifest more rapidly and accurately. And I want to just read that to give reverence to um, the card itself from the book. Um, just it it's very important to not have blocks with mother and father because um, they just block us. And it says here, by drawing this card, heaven asks you to release some remaining mother issues Give the entire situation to heaven, heaven, knowing that everything is in the hands of infinite spirit. The situation may heal in unexpected ways. Be unconcerned with how it heals and be vigilant in releasing any lower energies connected to your mother that could interfere with your life's mission. By releasing any mother issues to heaven, your heart opens further to accepting joy and blessings into your life. Your mother benefits when you're happy, whether or not she's consciously aware of it. Be willing to forgive and release all issues relating to yourself, your mother, mother figures, or anyone connected to your mother. By cleaning your inner house, you invite new love, opportunities, abundance, and healing energy to enter your life. And what a beautiful card. It reads into all three of these readings. Really beautiful, um, Libra, and a very bright um, reading for you. Please let me know how this resonates for you, and thank you for listening and um, subscribing to my channel.